So would you like some last minute Easter decor ideas? So in today's video, it's all about tiered trays and I have three to show you and I can't wait. Hi, I'm Bonnie Overman. I wanna thank you for joining me today. I hope my channel will inspire you to lead a more productive, creative and stylish life at any age, always on a budget. You know I'm 71 and I just say it because if I can do it, I know you can do it too at any age. I wanna thank my dear sweet subscribers. All of you mean the world to me. I so appreciate all your support and encouragement and your sweet messages. And if you haven't subscribed yet, consider doing so. You don't wanna miss any of these 2023 videos with a different theme every month. And if you like this, please give me a thumbs up. It does help my channel. Okay, three tier trays today, right before Easter. <laughs> The first one is going to be all my cute egg dioramas with flowers and bunnies. It's just very Victorian and kind of shabby chic looking. The next one, if you love the purples, the pinks, the blues all mixed together, it's my little lamb family in a garden of hydrangeas and roses. It's just absolutely beautiful. And that one you can use for spring all year long. The next one is spring on the farm. It's time to bring out my little farm animals and show all the buds that are bursting and all the activity with the new baby animals on the farm. I think you're really going to like it. So without further ado, here's my chair trays. Remember, decorating and redecorating on a very small scale. I hope you love it. I hope you get inspired most of all, and I'm gonna see you in the next video. Bye. Welcome to my first tier tray for April, and it's all about Easter and all about bunnies. What I did here is I collected all the things I made in my videos, the decorated box, the dioramas, the pea pots, and I wanted to show you how you can make a very Victorian, shabby chic, adorable looking tear tray for Easter. So at the top here, I started with that box. I put pom-poms, lace, flowers, ribbon, just set it up there with some pink roses and some lilacs. This is kind of in pink and lilac is my color scheme. Here's one of my dioramas and one of my pea pots, the little chick in it. And also, don't be afraid to use paper items. This is from Anna Griffin. So that's a little white bunny back there. And um, that was some ephemera that I had. So if you have a beautiful Easter card, put it on a tear tray. And then down here on the bottom, I have my other diorama in lavender, another peat pot, and then these adorable little chicks that have some champagne. <laughs> and I have my little bunnies from Hobby Lobby just peeking out. I think it's so, so adorable. It's all about Easter and the bunnies. All right, let's stay tuned for my next tier tray. Okay, here's my second tier tray for April. Now, this could be Easter. You could add some eggs to it and things like that. Or this could just be spring with my baby lambs. <laughs> They're so cute. This is mainly in blues, lavenders with a touch of pink. And here's mama lamb on top. She's got a little bonnet made of lilacs. Here's one of the babies here. And the other baby here at the bottom. It's like they're romping through a flower garden. They're so adorable. If you have a three tier tray or a two tier tray, if you're gonna get animals or little things you're gonna put on there, think about getting, if it's a two tier tray, two items, like birds, for example bird here, bird here. Three tier tray, get three of the items and that way you'll have really good cohesiveness on your display. So cute, my little baby lambs. But this would also work for spring. You know, that's when all the baby animals are being born. Yeah, they're such good little lambs. All right, we'll say goodbye to the lamb family and we're going to go down and see what's going on spring on the farm. Stay tuned. Welcome to spring on the farm. This one's all in black and white and pink. It's all about those little baby animals that are on the farm during springtime. Let's take a look at the top here. Now, you know, I made these little farmhouse structures out of those wood boxes from Dollar Tree. 
and I have my adorable little hen from Hobby Lobby with all the pink roses. Oh, and she's laid two eggs too. I just love her. Use the stuff you have in your kitchen. She usually is in my kitchen and uh, I love to bring her out. All right, on the next level, we have Pansy and Petunia, the Mouse Sisters, Pets and Chocolate Tasters. You can see they have some chocolate right there ready to go. They have their spring outfits on, little pink and white gingham ribbon with flowers. They're so adorable and they're so happy tasting chocolates. And they do need to get that chocolate off their nose. <laughs> on the bottom here is Daisy and Daffodil, the two little baby calves. And here's um, a milk bucket and here's another little farmhouse structure. And I have these adorable little a uh, hen family, rooster, hen, and two baby chicks. And it's all about being down on the farm. And then this uh, little fencing came from the fairy department and I just cut it up into little pieces and it looks so cute. All right. <laughs> from all my baby animals, rabbits, little, my little pigs, my lambs, my chicks, I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful Easter with your family and friends. And don't forget, we're going to finish off the rest of the month all about all things spring. All right, you all. I hope you loved it. Hope you got inspired. And I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye.